Russia moved to a new concept of war. Experts pointed out the nuance in attacks on Ukraine. The Russian occupiers switched to classical, modern, network-centric, non-contact warfare. This opinion was expressed by aviation expert, leading researcher of the State Aviation Museum of Ukraine, Valery Romanenko. The war is on the front line, but the main task is to destroy the infrastructure of the control system, industry and the transport system of another state. The one who implements this first wins the war. The Russians are now trying to put this concept into practice. They are using the means intended for this, long-range missiles, both ballistic and aero-ballistic, cruise missiles, drones, he said on the Espresso TV channel. The expert noted that the Russian Federation struck not only power plants, thermal and hydroelectric power plants, the occupiers also struck Stri in the Lviv region next to which gas storage facilities are located, that is the gas transportation system or our gas reserves are already under attack, says Romanenko. He added that the Russian invaders cannot do anything to the Ukrainian armed forces and therefore want to take it out on the civilian population. Before, the Russians did not shoot at the gas transportation system because its allies in Europe, in particular in Hungary and Slovakia, receive gas through Ukraine. At least they did, I don't know how it is now. The Russians now want to take it out on the civilian population. The only thing is that they forgot that our rear is Europe and the United States, summed up Valery Romanenko. Recently, the head of Ukraine's national energy company has called on EU countries to help protect its natural gas storage facilities from a recent spate of Russian attacks so they can keep contributing to lower prices across the continent. Oleksiy Chernyshov, chief executive of state-run Naftogaz, said it is of interest of the EU to protect storage, transportation and production facilities given that Ukraine's gas infrastructure is well integrated into Europe's energy system. Naftogaz said gas storage sites in western Ukraine had come under attack several times in recent months but only above-ground facilities had been damaged. Underground storage tanks, which may be as deep as three kilometers beneath the surface, had remained unaffected, it said. The Israeli army has entered the city of Rafa in southern Gaza. In a statement, the Israel Defense Forces said it was conducting a precise counter-terrorism operation in the eastern Rafa area in a bid to eliminate Hamas terrorists. A video released by the Israel Defense Forces shows at least four Israeli tanks on the Gazan side of the Rafa crossing on the border with Egypt. Part of the clip was apparently filmed by a soldier sitting on top of one of the vehicles, the Egyptian state-owned television channel al Qahira reported that the Israeli military had full control of the Palestinian side of the Rafa crossing. Sporadic fighting could be heard, and all humanitarian aid had stopped, according to the channel.so, the Israel Defense Forces also said its troops have managed to establish operational control of the Gazan side of the crossing. It added that ground troops and the Air Force had destroyed Hamas military structures in the area, claiming to have eliminated approximately 20 militants, according to an unnamed Palestinian security official and an Egyptian official cited by the Times of Israel, Israeli tanks reached as close as 200 meters from the Rafah crossing terminal, which is directly on the Egyptian border. The Egyptian official told the paper that the operation appeared to be limited in scope. The Israel Defense Forces said it had encouraged local residents to evacuate to the expanded humanitarian area in Al Mawasi, located on the coast and further away from the Rafa crossing. Israel's allies, including the United States, have warned Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to not send the military on a ground assault in Rafa, where nearly a million Gazans are sheltering. Archie Philadelphia, the U.S. Airfield, Israel.